Good morning, you guys. We are in the morning light, if you can't tell. It's getting a little bright, and I might regret this while I'm editing. But I wanted to start off this vlog because we're obviously sitting here in baby boy's nursery, and we have a lot to do. I filmed my baby shower haul yesterday, so there's literally stuff which is all over the floor. I've been sick for like two weeks now, so I'm Today I'm like finally feeling a tiny, tiny, tiny bit better. So that's good. I can actually like talk without coughing myself to death, you know? So we're going to take advantage of that. Spend today nesting. We're going to continue on with the nesting series because I'm literally 36 weeks and we've got no time to spare now. So it's grind time for sure. And we have a lot to do, a lot of organizing, a lot of laundry, a lot of preparing for baby. I actually made a huge like checklist the other day that I will show you guys with just a huge list of nesting things that I need to do before baby boy comes. Since I am a first time mom, I literally have no idea when he's gonna come. Could be soon, could be in over a month. We just don't know. So that's the, you know, exciting part about it. But yeah, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lauren. Make sure you subscribe and stay and stick around because we're having a baby soon and things are about to get real crazy, fun, amazing. Even though they already are. But okay, I'm gonna spare you now with this light. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I want to talk about the app Upside if you haven't heard of them before because they are sponsoring today's video. So thank you Upside for sponsoring today's video. Basically, Upside offsets inflated prices by giving you cash back on a lot of your purchases, which is always amazing. I love to use Upside when I'm getting gas because as we all know about gas prices, just not fun. Don't even want to talk about it. We all understand the struggle. <laughs> However, Upside makes it a lot better to get gas because you literally get cash back from your purchase, so it does make it that much better. The app is literally so easy to use and I'm gonna walk you through it right now. To get started, all you have to do is download the free Upside app in the App Store. You can use my promo code, WELCOME, and you actually get 25 cents back on every gallon for your first tank of gas. Next, all you have to do is claim an offer for literally whatever you're buying on Upside, whether it's gas, groceries, food out, whatever it may be. You pay as usual with a credit or debit card, you follow the additional steps that are in the app, and then you literally get paid, it's that easy. And in comparison to credit card rewards, rewards and loyalty programs, you can actually earn three times more cash back with Upside. So take that into consideration. Anytime you want to cash out, you can, whether it's to your bank, your PayPal, or just an e-gift card to one of your favorite places like Amazon. They know that your information is so private and so so important so they don't share any of your information with any third-party apps which is very important upside users are literally earning hundreds of dollars every single year which is probably why they have like a 4.8 star rating on the app store it just makes so much sense so thank you upside for sponsoring today's video make sure you download the free upside app with the link in the description and use promo code welcome to get 25 cents back on every gallon on your first tank of gas and let's get back into the video this is what we're working with in the nursery literally just stuff everywhere so what i'm gonna start with is laundry because we've got all that it's all clean i mean it's all like new but i want to wash it to make it like clean so we got to get all the new clothes we got for the baby shower i'm gonna do lights and darks and yes let's separate those i cannot wait to have him because look at this morning light sitting there with baby in this light it will just be precious okay guys we've got huge piles of stuff so i'm just gonna literally start separating and then we need to get to doing the laundry. way your track is more disasters like a magnet i don't know if you are from outer space but i Okay guys, this is what we ended up with. We have all the lights and neutrals in here and then all of the colors and darks right here. Um, there's just like a lot of blankets, which is why it's so full. And then we have like a play mat here too, which is really fluffy. So I'm gonna take the lights down first, I think. And then we're gonna do some laundry and, and then I'm gonna come back up here and start tackling some of this stuff. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna take all the books that he got from the baby shower. Ugh, this huge stack right here and just put them on the bookshelf. And then we have his little, oh, excuse me. Got this book on Amazon 
month. It's called Your Best Friend is Coming and it's from like the dog's perspective, the golden retriever. And Kiko and I read it the other day and it's literally the cutest thing ever. Seen by a girl. Her eyes are red and new. Okay, so right now I'm just going through this drawer of a bunch of stuff that I collected myself. Um, so we have some bottles and I'm just gonna take everything out of the boxes so that we can um, sterilize them all and stuff and then have those ready. I am planning on breastfeeding, but obviously I wanna have the option to pump and bottle feed also and have Keikoa do that. I'm not like super, super set, heart set on like anything i'm just open for whatever ends up happening i am set on breastfeeding and i know that is going to happen and we're going to be able to make it happen the whole bottle feeding and everything we're just gonna see what works and that's just how you do it sometimes you just have to kind of wing it <laughs> but we're using the como tomo bottles i did a lot of research but also these are the ones that i was told that i should use so we're taking that advice and using como tomo we do have a lot of bottles though for me planning on breastfeeding but better to have too many than not enough right definitely more than enough bottles so we've got six eight ounce and four four ounce i do want to take a trip to tj maxx marshall's those stores to get some organization stuff for the kitchen because i want to like clear a whole shelf in the kitchen to store like all bottles pacifiers pump parts all that stuff so okay so i just like kind of got all the postpartum stuff together i have so many freedom mom ice packs so I'm pretty sure I'm set. I don't think I'm going to use all of these because I hear that some people only use like one or two. And I have a lot, guys. I also have a lot of the boy short, which I'm excited for because I heard these are really good. Two Perry bottles because I'm going to have a like bathroom caddy upstairs and downstairs here. We also have the perineal healing foam and the cooling wipes. I actually didn't ask for that postpartum kit, but... Um, Julia got me the whole kit so that's cool and I'm definitely gonna be using the stuff because I have it But we're gonna end up using this drawer I'm separating it into half postpartum half pumping and breastfeeding stuff So obviously most of this stuff is gonna go in my hospital bag and then into the like postpartum bathroom caddies that I'm gonna make eventually but for now this is where everything is just gonna go so breast milk bags We've got two kinds we have the Lancino and then also the Medela see which ones I like more you know huge box of the Medela nursing pads pretty sure those are gonna come in handy the actual breast pumps but we're gonna have to sterilize these first I'm gonna keep these out oh the Haka the LV curve also but we need to sterilize these two I think okay yeah we have the Haka and the LV curve that we need to sterilize and then this little silicone stopper silicone breast pump cap and more nursing pads so those will go in there well now we got rid of another box and that's my goal for today is to get rid of all the boxes i can't believe it's like time to literally pack my hospital bag it just does not feel real to me at all <laughs> okay i honestly forgot i had a ton of random stuff in the drawers already so i'm just gonna take things out of the packaging like this is a mushy pacifier case this will go in the diaper bag I'm just gonna take it out now i am going to sterilize all the pacifiers and all of that but i am gonna just put them in here first because we have a little thing for this and we honestly don't have that many one two three four five six little pacifiers and then we also have a bunch of pacifier clips that i just took out of the packaging all little felt ones that i asked for but these in here we also have this one which is like the wooden ball one which i mentioned in my haul these kind of scare me for choking reasons like if this thing came loose i don't know and just because it's not as like mobile as obviously a cloth one all these teethers i don't think i'm going to sterilize these yet because he's not going to need them right away those are all in there as you can see so here's my plan this is going to be diapers and wipes this is going to be obviously pacifier stuff teethers and then i don't know what will go back here yet probably like toys because i don't have that many toys and actually no this is going to be like health stuff thermometers those type of things this drawer over here is beanies swim trunks socks and then we have a little compartment back here that i can put stuff in this Right now is just random stuff. Well, we have like soaps and stuff, which we'll put into the little shower caddy thing. I guess I'll put all his like free to baby like random stuff in the back section. Okay, 
Okay, so we just put everything into this drawer. This is like all the health and safety random stuff. And I'm gonna use my little label maker that I got on Amazon to make little labels to put onto the drawer. Feel like another man. Okay, so we have a bunch of like kitchen stuff that he's not gonna use for months, like these silicone bibs, like plates and spoons and all that. And I have this drawer, my Alex drawer set, in this closet that has some free drawers in it, which is amazing. Um, I purposely like clean this thing out, so bottom two have my stuff in it still, but these top three drawers are pretty much empty. Store that type of stuff in here for now because we're obviously not going to be using it anytime soon okay we have a little packs of newborn diapers that i'm gonna put in this first drawer right here and then also some wipes these are the pampers sensitive ones and i heard you should store them lid down because that way they don't dry out so little life hack there oh my gosh i can't believe i'm about to open these let's open these on camera because they're about to be real tiny and i'm about to get real emotional yep what the heck? They don't look as tiny on camera as they are in person, but literally it's smaller than my hand. My hands are pretty average size. Okay, let's fill this drawer. Okay, yeah, we definitely fit way more when we stand them up and that's, this is so satisfying. Oh my gosh. Now we have those filled and some wipes and then I guess we'll just put the extra ones right here. Perfect. Look at this drawer, you guys. It's perfectly organized. Obsessed with it. I also added a little label for here. And I think I'm just going to fill the two diaper caddies now with just diapers and wipes and figure, oh, and the changing mats too. And then later on, figure out what else we need in these. But I'm going to do, cause I did all Pampers swaddlers in the drawers. So for these, I'm gonna do Pampers and Millie Moon. Okay, here are the little diaper caddies. We did half Millie Moon, half Pampers. And the Millie Moon are size one, um, and the Pampers are newborn, but I'm pretty sure they're the same. Well, they look a little bigger, but I don't know if Millie Moon has newborn size, but these, they're six to 11 pounds, and then the Pampers up to 10 pounds. I'm pretty sure. They're just both newborn. We still have this little compartment over here. I think I'll use this for like a couple extra onesies in case of blowouts, you know, <laughs> or diaper creams or something like that. Love it, so cute. I'm gonna actually take a break. I'm going to charge my camera battery because since I've been doing so many montages, my battery is like drained and I'm gonna go eat some lunch, relax for a little bit, and then maybe get back to this today, maybe not. I did a lot today, so I feel very accomplished, but yeah. Okay, we're on to all the rest of his laundry. This is all the colored stuff, so we're gonna fold these and then put them away and then we'll be all caught up. I'm quite a lot done at the nursery. It's obviously still a mess. That's all boxes and stuff we need to take down and just trash, but there's a lot of that. So I'm gonna show you what we've done in the drawers. I am officially caught up on all his laundry. I washed all the blankets, all the swaddles, like literally everything so we can actually like pack hospital bags now which is crazy i just picked out his going home outfit and i'm literally crying <laughs> because it's so cute and so precious and i can't believe we're actually here and it's gonna happen like i I, I don't know how to feel. Also got this little nameplate off Etsy. I can show you because his name isn't like actually engraved on it because I'm just gonna write it. But how sweet is this? It says hello world and it's like 3D. Okay, let me show you the drawers. They're very organized and I'm obsessed with them. So first drawer, we've got diapers, we've got wipes. Next drawer is pacifiers, pacifier clips. We still need to sterilize all these and stuff. Also, literally look. I'm holding you on the tripod, which is a little bit difficult, but it's okay. Then we've got this whole thing of teethers, which you won't need for a while, so I'm not gonna sterilize those yet. This is all like health and safety stuff, diaper cream, nail file, gripe water, that type of stuff. This drawer, these are all beanies. These are swim trunks, which of course he has four pairs already because he's gonna be a little San Diego boy, so obviously. We go to the pool, my dad's pool a lot in the summer, so he's definitely gonna be using these. We have all his socks. This is like the most that I'm gonna get because 
I know he's not gonna wear a bunch of socks and then we have like three pairs of mittens that people got us and then back here are all the bibs um, which we don't plan on using until he's like teething obviously and like drooly and stuff that's why those are just back there but they're all washed and clean and then this last drawer this is satisfying <laughs> all his burp cloths are in here which I know we'll use a lot I also need to put some of these in the diaper caddies and then back here is just random stuff like his little monthly plates and then we have some like little things from the baby shower my little photo printer random stuff back there this next drawer this is all his newborn clothes so we're stocked guys hopefully he's not a huge baby and will actually fit in this stuff because he's got a lot of it so we've got newborn footies like zipper footies and they're mainly zippers there's only like one that has buttons in it but footies all his bottoms they're just so cute and tiny and he has a lot we've got that and then all his tops also we've got sweaters and stuff keiko is calling me one second okay back to what we were saying long sleeve onesies and then short sleeve onesies so we're set with that for sure because they're all so tiny and then this drawer is zero to three same exact format footies bottoms tops one long sleeve and short sleeve onesies so he's got a lot of those as well so that's all the clothes and then everything from three month up is going to be hanging in the closet which is pretty much already in there we've got some more there that we need to hang that i just washed and then this bottom drawer for now it's just like all my postpartum stuff i showed you this the other day but breastfeeding all that stuff and then this last drawer i haven't like completely done it yet but right now it's just all his wrap or carriers which i think I'm gonna end up putting on the little bookshelf over there once I get like a little basket for it and then use this drawer for other things we need But yeah, that's the dresser and that's the organization of that. Oh, yeah diaper caddies I showed you yesterday. I made this little bath basket I just put everything in here. So all these little washcloths are clean and washed just rolled them up, put them in here. There's this like slow flow rinse thingy, shampoo and wash, and then another shampoo and lotion by Tubby Todd, another lotion. So we have Tubby Todd and Pipette that I wanna try out and see which one I like better. So this is super cute, just a little bath basket caddy. So, so cute. Hey guys, time to put the car seat in the car. I don't know what this chingus is for. Bro. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Woo! So cute. I don't know if we're gonna keep the actual car seat in here, maybe just the base for now, because obviously we don't need the actual car seat in, and just in case anything happens before, you know? Um, but this is the Nuna Pip RX in Hazelwood. Definitely comes looking more gray than tan, like it does in the pictures online, and I went and read reviews, and a lot of people are agreeing with that. It's still super pretty, and I, it's, I've grown to love it still, so it's all installed, and yeah. So we got a little mirror, but it doesn't fit with my headrests because you can't, um, like raise these and something has to go under it. So we're gonna have to get a different mirror, but that's okay because Kiko is just gonna use the one that we bought for this car in his car, even though we're not gonna need it right away. We're needed in his car soon anyways, but yay. Hello guys, it's the next day. Today's Monday, I'm pretty sure. We're running some errands today. We have to go to, <sighs> I need to sit, I just got ready. But we have to go to Costco, Target, PetSmart, and Trader Joe's. I'm gonna be dead today, and I already am. I don't have that much energy, but we wanna build like our snack, my snack baskets for when I go into labor, cause our doula came over the other day and was telling us how it would be nice to have a designated like basket of snacks and stuff that I can just eat during labor while I'm laboring at home. And then we need to get some like travel essentials, necessities, for packing our hospital bags, which we need to do. Which we don't need that much stuff because we already have kind of a lot, most of it at, a, at least. We have most of the stuff, we just need a couple more things. And then PetSmart for Rockless Food, Trader Joe's for groceries and more snacks and stuff. So it's like 9 a.m. and we're already getting ready for the day. Here's what the nursery is looking like. It's definitely clearing out and we've got a lot more space to build the bouncer well, it was already built <laughs> we also built the swing which is downstairs which i'll show you right now this huge box of just boxes oh this is my little nesting don't mind my tea my little nesting to-do list that i made the other day and i'm 
already crossing things off. Yeah, here's where we're at. We have like a hospital bag packing list, which there's kind of a lot. I'm also starting these postpartum baskets. <clears throat> My sister, Brianna, is going to give me a bunch of her extra postpartum stuff that she had for her last baby that she just had in October. She has a bunch of stuff that she doesn't need, obviously, anymore. So she's going to give that to me, but I need to get that from her so that I can pack some of it in the hospital bag and also just have it ready in here. But right now, it's just all the random Freedom Mom stuff. One of the Perry bottles is in the hospital bag. Boy shorts, ice packs, that stuff. Deborah caddies are almost done or done. I just added um, a little onesie, a burp cloth, and then um, diaper cream in each one. So yeah. This is a cozy fit today. I've literally lived in these pants all pregnancy. Not even kidding. They're from Lulu's. They've grown with me this whole time and I've literally worn them so much. And then this sweater is from H&M and my Converse. So we're going to go run a lot of errands today. I guess I'll bring you along. Kind of want Starbucks too, even though Keiko just made coffee. So we built the swing yesterday. We need to get like special types of batteries so i ordered it on amazon so we can't actually turn it on and see what it does yet but all we know is that it's huge but it's it's cute and it'll be handy we've got the stroller over there too we built the other day put the car seat in the car welcome okay guys we are three stores down one more to go we went to target PetSmart, and costco and what time is it 11 36 11.36. Now we still need to go to Trader Joe's and just get more groceries for the house for now because we have like nothing. We're doing some things in the nursery. We just mounted his camera. We're trying to pair it right now with my phone, but it's struggling a little bit. My friend Abby just stopped by and brought us some things, which was so nice. She's a labor and delivery nurse. She just started. So she gave me things that she obviously recommends. So eye mask, which I was going to get anyways because our doula said that we should get one. And then also satin pillowcase for afterbirth, which is exciting. I was literally going to get essential oils, but she got them. Lavender, grapefruit, and peppermint, and then cotton browns to put on there. She got us a little gift card. And then Keiko's favorite part. Mm -hmm. Claims it's his going home outfit. Babe, this is way too big for going home outfit. We'll see how big he is. Look at this. She said she got it with Keiko in mind. Obviously because it has all the little golf things on it. So cute with the matching hat. That was nice and we got to see her. Now we're trying to pair this Nanit camera. Okay guys, it's the next day now and I'm editing this video so I wanted to end it off because I never did. We did a lot of nesting in this video but I am going to be starting another one probably tomorrow because it's just I need to film everything until we get actually everything done. Tomorrow my plan is to probably finish packing hospital bags is one. Get all the trash out of the nursery and like all the boxes and stuff and then I go through all the postpartum stuff that I picked up for my sister today. We got to sterilize bottles and all that stuff tomorrow also so that I can put some pacifiers in the diaper bag and hospital bag. Go from there. We still have stuff on the to-do list to do so I'm gonna have to do that. I also need to finalize my birth plan so I can send it to my doula because she's been asking. We gotta do that too but I'm gonna end this vlog off here and start another one tomorrow. I love you all so much. Make sure you subscribe because things are happening very soon. Oh my goodness. We had an OB appointment today actually and it went super well, super fast. If you know, you know. Checked my blood pressure, checked baby's heart rate, measured my belly, and then we were out of there. So everything's looking good. We had an ultrasound like last, at our last week's appointment and baby was head down. My fluid levels looked good, all that stuff. So yeah, I'll be full term tomorrow, 37 weeks. So at that point, whenever I go into labor, I go into labor, which is so crazy. And now it's just a waiting game. Literally, we're just waiting for our baby boy to be here. My belly button ring um, left me some stretchies. That's awesome. Keep that in mind, guys, if you want to get a belly button piercing and you want to have babies in the future. I love you all. Make sure you subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok because we would do a lot of content over there too. And I will see you all in my next video. I love you all so much. It'll probably be like a what's in my hospital bag video. So stay tuned for that. Love you. And we'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.